Hi, and welcome to the mid-August energy update. So let's see what the energies are speaking about. I'm going to probably pick some cards as I'm talking, but it just feels like things are picking up speed <laughs> or thing, or we're moving at a faster pace. Uh, maybe you're moving through those purge cycles quicker. And um, also, at least for me, it feels very much like um, energies, the intensity of the energies are actually intense in a good way, where you're feeling yourself at times really connected to everything. That's what I'm going to talk about on today's video. I'm Linda Armstrong. If you don't already know me, I'm an awakening coach and an energy healer. And I love to talk about all things to do with really manifesting a life that you love when it comes down to clearing out what's holding you back and opening up your awareness to connect to spirit to help you and assist you on this journey. That's pretty much what it's all about. So, um, the energy is mid-August. It does feel like things are speeding up. So, maybe you're moving through those purge cycles a little bit quicker, right? Or could we just be adapting to them, right? Not letting them bring us down, which speaks to holding this higher vibration, right? So, when things are happening that maybe pull you down a bit or you're releasing what you don't even know what it is but all of a sudden you wake up you're sick one day or you have these headaches and never get headaches but suddenly this is what's happening or you need to sleep more or you can't sleep as much you know so because the energy is shifting so quickly we're just adjusting to it right but becoming more and more aware and if you listen to me and other channels that speak about the things I speak about you'll you are becoming more aware of these changes that are happening energetically. And so this really does assist you, I feel, I believe, in moving through them in an easier manner. So I know that I'm noticing that, especially when I come out of a purge, <laughs> I'm going to call it a purge from now on, a lower vibration. Uh, when, I'm, when I lift myself up and out, I feel it clear. Um, I notice that I'm actually hypersensitive to the good stuff. It's almost like it's almost like you're being you're opening up to noticing the differences, right? The differences from when you're down to when you're up. Now, the cool thing about that is, in most cases, nothing's changed. Your life is pretty much the same as it was two days ago, as it is now as it will be maybe in the next few days. Like no big drastic changes have happened except for your energy. You're either really low, not so low, really high. Um, and, and I'm finding that more fun to pay attention to, to notice. Now, okay, I see it a lot with clients. I see it with family. I see it with friends. I see it just collectively from things that I hear about. Um, but I like to have myself and my truth lead my way anyway. I mean, that's what happened. That should be for everybody. Don't just believe something I say or something somebody else says. Always feel within yourself what's true for you. And you'll know what's true for you by the way it feels in your heart. So let's just pick something from this vibrational energy deck and let's see what comes up. Okay. The triangle. Okay, so let's see. I, I like this book because it's just very short and sweet. And uh, let's see what the triangle says. And I've had this card come up before, but I want to read it from here. And I always like to read from the book. So it says, the triangle is the law of three. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The trilogy of each one knowing what it needs to do. What is expected of it and just doing it. It's that of the highest form of work. The closer you get to God or the universal force of vibration, the more 
is expected of you and of others. A triangle has three sides of itself, just as you do, so recognize it. Ah, so I'm just going to go with that for recognizing these aspects of you when you're in a lower vibe, come in an okay vibe or in a really high vibe. Now, it's probably speaking to a lot more than that, but for me, what I feel like with what I started out speaking about that that's what this is indicating is just really having this awareness and maybe just becoming very familiar almost what i'm hearing is like like it's like a family member <laughs> it's like a part of you it's like your arm okay these different aspects these highs and lows it's all a part of you it's all like molding this creation that is you and the life that you're living right here, right now, anyway, right? But we can, we have this ability to connect to different timelines as a beautiful butterfly right out there dancing around. So I guess this is a message that spirit wants us to bring because it's not leaving. Um, and that totally distracted me. <laughs> okay, let's bring ourselves back. Okay, so these diff different aspects of you, really getting to know it as as a part of you or an extension of you, right? So that it's not foreign, these highs and lows and dips in your vibration. It's like an aspect of you. Okay, so my body, the planet, everything's shifting and changing to an overall higher frequency. And as that goes through, I go, I, I have this little bit of an adjustment going on. So you wanna love all aspects. You wanna love the lows and you wanna love the highs. I would invite you to um, acknowledge the lows and let those aspects of you that would pull you down and keep you there, because that's what happens. Like we can have something low and it purges and we move on, or we can have this thing come in and get stuck in it and have that chatter of the negative-based ego mind, the fearful, doubtful energies coming in and start you know, like grasping to that. So it's like now the law of attraction is taking hold on all the negative stuff and building it, making it bigger than it is. So to, to not have that happen, you want to look at it. Okay, this negative aspect, it's a part of me. It's something that I'm going through. All right, I see you. Thank you for the clearing that you're giving me. Um, be with it. See, it's like when you look at it and you see it for what it is, low energy. Then it can go. It doesn't have to hook on and latch on and grab all of your attention. If you were to look at it, acknowledge it, and then love it and say, okay, you know, I love this part of me. Okay. This is a part of me. It's part of that trilogy, maybe, right? This is a part of me. I'm going to love it. I'm not going to hate it when I'm down here in these lower energies. I'm just going to love it because love is an energy that heals all. So the more love you put towards, and I keep looking over there for some reason, this lower energy, because always my higher energy is up here and my lower energy is down there. It's just the way I see it. Um, we just love it. It dissolves. We maybe come into that more neutral place. We're like, okay, I moved through that. Or sometimes we just go way up into this. And I think what's happening, at least for me, is the more I do this, the more I kind of flip into this really higher exhilarating energy and so then I look at that and I love that and I appreciate that and when I'm in those higher energies and I you know have conversation with my higher self my guides angels masters and you know those different dimensional aspects of me because you know we've lived many lives before we've been in many different dimensions before so it's a great time to connect to those higher aspects of you and ask for guidance right or even just be with it just be like you know what i'm just gonna soak this all in because this is beautiful i love this and just acknowledge that and feel it because i even just saying that right now i love this i had to pause because i felt that energy go throughout my whole body so i'm hoping that that energy I'm asking for that energy to flow right to you, right? Just let it flow. Um, all right, so let's go to, uh, so see, now I'm getting giddy and giggly. 
from the energy. That was that felt really good. I hope you felt that too. Okay, so let's go to um, Sonia Choquette. I love Sonia Choquette. We're gonna do her Trust Your Vibes Oracle deck. Learn. Ah, so I'm not gonna read her. I'm not. I, I say I was gonna read the book, but I, I feel like I don't even want to read it right now. Just learn. So you're learning from these different aspects of yourself, right? From this triangle. Now, you know, maybe with, um, say if you wanted to bring Ho'oponopono into it, you know, you've got the the um, the inner child, right? Then you've got the, um, wait, that's the subconscious, the inner child, the conscious and the super conscious, right? So those are three aspects of you. And you can be coming in and out of all of those anytime. So the subconscious mind will a lot of times bring up those the lower energy, right? The conscious mind can maybe see it for what it is. And then the subconscious mind, the subconscious part of you, can actually lift you up and out and into these higher dimensional aspects of yourself. So why not just set your intention to learn through all of these different aspects or different energies, different levels? Um, why not ask to learn from it? Okay, so what can I learn here? That, that's actually, I like that card. And this is the way I'm taking it. This is the way Spirit's giving it to me. What can I learn from being down here in this lower energy? You know, what can I learn from this? Whatever that lesson is, take it, thank it, love it, move on. Okay, so what did I learn from moving out of that so easily, from taking what that message was? And it's brought me now to maybe this space that I'm in. Okay, and then you just notice what's going on throughout the day. And what, what can I learn from being in this space? And then you get... I, I, for me, it always feels like an exponential thing where I'm just all of a sudden I'm out there in this other beautiful energy where I'm in awe of everything. And I feel like I remember listening to Abraham speaking about how, um, yeah, I don't remember exactly the story. It was a long time ago. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Um, how she was noticing, Esther was noticing stuff in a more heightened way, you know, like she was in, in awe of the raindrops or the air or the sound of something or uh, whatever was coming in her experience. She was like, felt like she was really hyper experiencing it, something that she experiences normally without feeling that way. And uh, so when she asked Abraham about it, Abraham said that they were just feeling through her senses the beauty of all of this, right? I've been having that experience a lot lately and I'm loving this because I came out of some deep purging, you know, and I was like, okay, I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it. When's it going to be over? Anyway, eventually I got through it. And uh, since then, I've been having this where, you know, butterfly will come by and it's like, I am so a part of that butterfly in some way. Like, it's like my heart is so full or um, a grasshopper. Or the light outside, you know, like the the or the clouds. For me, it's been happening with nature a lot, and it's more. I feel like this connection with the higher self, with your soul, with the energies that are assisting you, your guides, your angels, whatever that might be for you. It's more like you're feeling that blending, and and just merging with it. So I don't know where I was going with that, but that came off the learn card. So maybe what I, what I'm Maybe so what it is for me is I'm starting to learn or feel when I'm connected to the all that is, whatever that encompasses, whether it's just a particular guide experiencing through me or whether it's my higher self teaching me something through this heightened experience and just to bring that into my conscious reality of knowing how beautiful life is or that anything can be at any moment so it's like I could be stuck here and I could be in this misery and I could let all those reactive thoughts and subconscious programming dictate misery <laughs> or I can move through it and feel that exhilaration because why do I feel it only at certain times? I, if I can access that once, I can access it anytime. So maybe that's something to learn right here, right now. Maybe this is what my guides want me to pull through, is that 
when we're in those lower places, maybe make the decision or ask for your higher guidance to experience through you the beauty of that tree or whatever it might be, right? Listen to the birds and have that song infuse you with something to learn, right? Because we receive information in many different ways. You know, maybe it's the bird singing that's bringing it to you. Maybe it is that lighting outside that's downloading you with this information that you've been asking for that's going to take you further on your path. Oh, that's really good. I like that. I like that. I hope you can hear me. I started whispering. I don't know why. Okay. I want to get one more card um, from the angel deck. All right. Doreen Virtues, Daily Guidance of the Angels. Um... Yeah, let's, so let's see what Spirit wants to say. We'll wrap up this reading with that. But I feel like really it's all about um, bringing in all aspects of yourself, acknowledging the different things, making a choice to not be pulled down, but just to see those lower energies for what they are, and to bring yourself out through the magnificence that's all around us that we can connect to that will bring us up and out and asking your higher self, you know, like to send, because actually you're so receptive in such a high vibration at that time that you can receive so much. So it's a perfect time to be like, okay, spirit, download me with what's up, what's next for me, you know? Uh, okay, child, we get child card with um, the angels. And you know, I'm just going to take it this way. You know, when we come here, we still have, we still know, we still know, we're, we're not totally uh, clueless, <laughs> put it that way. We still remember. I mean, sometimes you have kids who actually remember their past life of living down the street three blocks away, you know, and who their parents were and all this kind of stuff. Um, so we're not completely a blank, we're not a blank slate, never, ever, 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 but we still have some recall, right? And part of that recall is this magnificence that we are and how things can just happen for us and that everything works out perfectly and that there's magic and wonder. And so if we can let us, and I talk about this a lot too, so I'm not, it doesn't surprise me that the child card came up, that we can reconnect at any time to that childlike wonder where magic resides, right? Magic and miracles. You know, we haven't, um, when we're that young, we haven't been squashed by other people's life experience because usually those people that love you <laughs> give you their own programs in an attempt to help you not to live their programs. But meanwhile, they're giving you their programs by putting that fear in or trying to steer you away from something only because it wasn't good for them, right? So they, they mean well. They just didn't know any better. So now, you know, we're changing all of that. And so, yeah. Get back into that child, that child aspect of you. Let that childlike wonder and magic and, and delight over the simplest things. See, that's that feeling, you know, like I, I've been having it a lot where I'm just, I feel so connected and it could just be the lighting outside or some animal or some insect <laughs> that went by or just the feeling of, or the smell outside, you know, like allow that, those moments to bring in that childlike wonder, that magic, and know that you can connect to your higher self. I just did a video about connecting with your higher self and um, and ask for the guidance. You know, one more thing I'll say, and I wasn't supposed to be part of this video, but I talk about this a lot because I like to put myself in night school, right? I mean, we leave our body and we go out into other dimensions. So why not ask to be taught whatever it is that you want to learn. You know, for me, I like to be, I like to go out there and say, teach me how to be more psychic. You know, teach me what things I can do to help my clients better. You know, show me how I can draw more people to me so I can help lift them up to lift the vibration of not only those people, but it goes out collectively of the planet. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll end there. Uh, I can go on and on and on. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got something from it. And um, I think that we're in really interesting times right now. Things are moving fast. And let's catch that wave of that high vibe. Because in that high vibe, 
law of attraction, what you're sending out is going to come back. So why not have the good stuff coming back, right? Being so open in that high vibe that you hear the voice of your guidance so much easier. It's just there for you because you're open. You're like, so, so yeah, open, lead through your heart and let go. Remind yourself, what would my child, what would my two-year-old self think of this? You know, like bring yourself back into that simpler way of being. Yeah, it's a big message I get a lot to really simplifying, especially now, you know, clearing out, purging your space so that you can make more space for all of that inspiration to come in, to be able to connect easily to your guides, to spirit, to your higher self, to the all that is. So that's all. I would love you to like, share, um, subscribe, and please comment below. See you on another video. Bye.